what's up YouTube this is a video about my sergeant seat uh, I've had it for about 2500 miles now it's in the high position now uh, you can tell it's kind of got a carbon fiber look to it it's also got a, a groove cut right down in here and uh, it actually has one in the back as well and back here it's actually for your tailbone and for your to relieve pressure on your on your taint but um, really comfortable um, it's great for long rides I usually run it in the high position for long rides uh, around town or off-road I will run it in the low position one of the positives to this seat is you maintain your ability to go between your high position and your low position just like your factory seat a lot of those your saddleman, your Corbin, you, you give up that ability to do that. There it is in the low position. So you can maintain that ability. This is the low seat, not the standard, it's the low. And I'm kind of glad I went with it. It was kind of toss up because of stock. Regular seat's supposed to be the same height as the uh, stock seat. But I'm kind of glad I went with because it, it is a little bit wider and the reach to the ground is a little bit further. So um, there it is. Uh, you know, looks good. It's a little wider, off road. You know, you kind of um, with the stock foot pegs, you kind of hit this right here, and you notice it. Otherwise, you don't really notice it. Um, it's I don't know. It's I, I don't do a lot of off-road and when I do I normally will put my stock seat back on uh, just because of that and um, if person had aftermarket foot pegs it would probably be different but with the uh, stock foot pegs you can't get your feet wide enough out there so uh, it does tend to be in the way. But uh, I'm back here, a place called Dickieville. And uh, I haven't been back here in years. You notice my bike just did the whining thing to start? I don't know what's got into it. It's done that uh, three times today. And that is very odd because it never does that. But uh, I don't know. If it continues, I'll see if I can get it in and uh, get them to look at it. But yeah, I never used to do that. All this land back in here has been bought up. Coal mine used to own it all. And uh, really, they would let people come back in here and, and go all over the place there's just some more property you know that we're losing uh, I don't know I understand both sides I don't allow anybody on my property either so I understand this used to be uh, what they call Tecumseh recreation area you could buy a, a permit for your boat it was cheap I don't know five or six bucks and you could fish in the lake all year round yeah the, the uh, uh, sergeant seats really nice uh, I, I say that I've gotten it broken in but I think it's more that I've gotten my butt broken into the seat more and uh, I'm getting more used to it but yeah those you know 10 12 hour days in this saddle is no problem at all it's really really nice it's kind of pricey um, ain't gonna lie you know if you ride a lot it's worth it to me to have a good seat uh, if you don't ride but you know a few thousand five or six thousand miles a year myself I probably wouldn't wouldn't spend the money on one because uh, I wouldn't get my money's worth out of it. That's me. 
I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, be safe out there. Have a blessed day. Hudcats out.